All right, guys, so what I'm doing today is a little different. Yes, I am gonna be doing the shooting the bow. I'm gonna be shooting at some fruits. I'm gonna be shooting at this bottle here is full of lemonade. I drink some before it because it's a hot day. And I will be using these Allen broadheads right here for my video. And I'm gonna give my opinion if I like them or not. Because one, I I normally just shoot with field points, so I don't typically shoot these all that much. So, oh, excuse. Uh, so we're gonna take a few shots. I'm gonna be using the recurve that I did before. I'm gonna have the target right here. I'm gonna actually have a watermelon shoved inside it. Right here. And then you guys are going to be able to see the arrows get hit into there. Okay, we got one to the watermelon. <laughs> and guys, it made one clean hit right here. So I'm going to try to pull it out, see if it comes out as clean as possible. It will not, so what I'm going to do is to just unscrew it and pull the arrow through. There. Guys, <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of scared to hold these. Okay. Right. He did make one clean hole. I don't know if you guys can see the triangle it left, but he didn't. So I'm going to go and place this back in here. I think it's fair to say that watermelon's toast. <laughs> All right. Oh man. It looks like when I shot the arrow, it cut off the fletching there. That kind of sucks, but oh, whatever. This one it came on the side, but still cut it, so it counts as a hit. Wow. <laughs> That's what I call slaying fruit. Okay, so we're gonna take a few shots of the bottle. See what we can get.
which guys, I hope you can see the bottle right here. If you can't, then I apologize. Okay. I'm gonna see if I can hit right here with this thing, see what it does before I go and start damaging the yellow target. really good amount of penetration because it's not just pointing it's actually cutting into it which these broadheads they aren't breaking which I think is good so so you saw me shoot the watermelon and the bottle like I figured that doing the normal target shots aren't as fun so what I'm going to do right now is see what I can do on hitting just the circle targets at range with these things because right now I've only been shooting like about 10 yards so I'm gonna move about to 15 yards and take a few more shots so let's get started It actually felt pretty good. Okay. So, now I'm gonna go and shoot the target. Alright guys, so I think I'll kill a deer with those. <laughs> those were some pretty tight groupings. Point at these three because I believe they're the ones with the broadheads in them. Which I think those I think those were really good shots. So please tell me if you actually like this video. I'm sorry I don't got one of those slow motion cameras or anything, but I am gonna do some editing to this video because I was working on an initial video before making this video, but it got corrupted, so I gotta go and well, I have to make this video, so if it turned out good, then just let me know down in the comment section. But if you want me to do some more broadhead videos and do something more crazy with them, and I'll see what I can do because it's a hot day right now. I feel like I made this video a little longer than I should have, but hey, I think it was a good video.